We're in Harlem, uptown. This is the most famous park in the history of street basketball in the world. I'm only talking about Rucker Park. Right, I ain't in the league, but when I come here, this is my NBA. You know what it is. It's all of New York. It's the Mecca of street basketball. This is what we do. This is what we love. This is where you got your name. Streetball culture is the essence, man. Streetball culture brings you everything you want in growing up in the inner city in New York. I got to find a spot on the front. All right, so you got Joe, you got Nate Archibald. On the back, I got Allen Houston. I got Larry Johnson, John Stocks. Right on. All right. We're in Manhattan right now. We're going to uh, West 4th Street. The Cage, baby. I think this is the second, second most famous street ball park in New York City. Just in terms of atmosphere, people, it's in the middle of the city, so people have to work, just hang on the gate. Tourists all over the world, whether they knew there was a park there or not, just walking in the middle of the city, doing their, you know, their tourist routes and seeing New York, you're gonna bump into this small, tiny cage and you know, some real tough, hardcore street ball. Cage. West Fork. And the man behind the cage. Hey, what's up, bro? Thank you. Thank you. You got to come over there. Oh, I've been there. I already you know. Got... How important is, is street ball culture to you? Well, it kept me out of trouble. I got to that corner and heard all the noise. I walked in the park. I was 21 years old and never left. And I've been here, what, this 37 years? Street ball is basketball at its purest form. For the players who didn't reach their full potential and you come back home and you still got a place to play, that's your NBA. But you know what? Enough of West 4th. We're going to get out of here. Orchard Beach, BX, Hoops in the Sun. <laughs> This is one of the toughest tournaments to play in because of the heat. Get to the X. All starts and ends in the X. There is no way I wasn't going to complete my top five tournaments in New York City that you have to play in to become legendary without coming to the Bronx. Randy Cruz, what is going on, my brother? Hey, Homicide Williams, man. Good to see you. Hoops in the Sun was um, a dream tournament that my dad wanted to do back in 1999. He sees Venice Beach at, the, at, at that time and was like, you know what, I can take this Go back home to Orchard Beach in the Bronx and kind of replicate what they do. We from the X, man. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you don't know what the X is. It's the Bronx. To have something that I know I could be proud of in the Bronx, where the major names have to come play here and dominate to create their reputation, it means a lot. It's like, yo, you ain't doing it up here. In the sun. This sun is crazy. Yo, this sun will deter you from coming to play in this tournament. Cause it will wear you down, man. My brother, oh, man. love you, bro. Thank you, love Number you love. Yes, sir. Already. 